Welcome to another edition of the CS Podcast, where you can hear interviews with special guests such as Dayon Buchanan, Tom Waddle, Pierre Desir, Brent Barry, Ed Werder, and many others. Too big, too strong, too fast, too good. So be sure to subscribe and tune in to the CS Podcast on YouTube at youtube.com slash christianre722. Did you not get the memo? That's www.youtube.com slash christianre722. For great interviews, be sure to check out the CS Podcast. You are ridiculous! Welcome back to the CS Podcast. I'm your host, Chris Shanafell, and actually I have a little bit of news to share with you guys uh, before we start this next interview. It's official. I'm going to be teaming up with Draft Diamond, so be sure to check out my uh, future articles and interviews at www.nfldraftdiamonds.com. I'm very happy to announce that. Now let's get to our first interview for Draft Diamonds, which is actually my last interview for the 2015 NFL Draft class, with the NFL Draft being tomorrow here in Chicago. So with all that being said, I am now joined by 2015 NFL Draft prospect, tight end out of Virginia University of Lynchburg, Devin Stewart. I appreciate you taking some time to chat today. Devin, how's everything going? Uh, everything's going great. Everything's great, and I appreciate the opportunity to come on. Hey, the pleasure is absolutely all mine. For those who listen to the CS Podcast, they know that I'm a VUL fan. Uh, Virginia University of Lynchburg is a small Division II school that has really been flushing out a lot of talent lately, including yourself, Devin. So let's go ahead and get right to it because uh, originally, uh, coming out of high school, you didn't end up at VUL. You originally attended uh, North Carolina A&T State University. Oh, yeah, that's correct. Um, coming out of high school in 2009, I earned a scholarship to North Carolina a and State University. about Virginia University of Lynchburg that kind of caught your attention? I mean, when you left North Carolina uh, A&T State University, did you ever think that, man, that, that was my only opportunity to play football and now I'll never get another one again? Or did you know that ultimately down the line you will get another opportunity to, uh, you know, suit up for, for another college? Oh, no. Oh, no. When, when, once I lost my, uh, my chance of playing football at North Carolina A&T, I was, it felt like I had hit rock bottom. your first year at Virginia University of Lynchburg in 2012. Uh, you were named the USCCA preseason All-American, and uh, you reeled in 36 catches for uh, 467 yards and four touchdowns. Did you expect to have that major impact on the VUL Dragons football team as quickly as you did? Um, really? Going into it, I was so focused on, on doing the right thing and doing the exact opposite of what I did at North Carolina a and Like, it, I didn't put no limitations on what could happen at Virginia University of Lynchburg. Hmm. No, I didn't expect the, 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 the come out for the, uh, the result to come out the way it did, but when they did, I was not, you know, it, it, it was nothing that I was surprised with. 
Mm hmm. Well, yeah, it definitely sounds like you're pretty much just grateful to get that second opportunity. And, Devin, you seem like a great leader. Uh, you have your own uh, nonprofit organization called uh, Against All Odds, and you have your own mentoring uh, company called Break the Chain Mentoring. Uh, I know that you aren't the only VUL player, uh, football player, uh, making a difference in the community, so it says a lot about the program. So, like, like I said, I mean, you, you seem like a great leader. Uh, what did it mean to you, if anything, to be named a, a team captain in uh, 2013? Um, it, it meant a lot to me, you know. We had a lot of a lot of what I to say, uh, young people. We had a lot of uh, people just like me who had got second chances to come back and play ball. And so, for guys like that to look up to me, you know, it, 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 it kind of pushed me, you know, what I'm saying, and pushed me to uh, work harder because I, I want to set the bar now. And they're looking at me. I'm gonna set the level. I'm gonna set the tone early. Mm -hmm. And so, so that. Being voted team captain, that was that was an, uh, uh, an accomplishment for me. You know that, that I can I can put down as an accolade. And that 2013 season, you ended up uh, leading the Dragons with 48 catches for over 780 yards and five touchdowns. Uh, now, with that being said, I mean, what were your expectations for this past season, knowing that it will be your final go-around at the college level? I mean, it's your senior year, uh, you know, hopes of playing in, in the NFL, professional football. Uh, what were your expectations for this past season? Oh, yeah, from that, from that season, my expectation was, uh, I was this, this was my year. You know, this is my year. I'm, I'm about to go at it. I'm about to give it my shot. You know, and we had just got a new coach. We had brought a new coach in and he brought pretty much a whole new team in. You know, we were stuck with like 12 to 15 upperclassmen and the rest of our team were freshmen. So this was the time where I really had to lead or all our upperclassmen really had to, to set the bar on what the new program was going to be now. So, so, yeah, like you said, unfortunately, this past season, it certainly go, didn't go the way uh, both you and the team expected. I mean, uh, you, you only played in the team's first three games. Uh, and, and then, like, like you said, some problems went on with the athletic department. You, you decided to stop playing football and spend more time on your education and, and of course, those companies of yours. Uh, now, you don't need to go into detail as to what exactly it was that you know made you cut ties with the football team, but how hard was it to make that decision to hang up the cleats a little early? Oh, man, that, that decision, oh, my goodness, I can remember that day, you know, the day I, that the team left to go to the game, and, you know, and I just didn't get on the bus, just watching the bus drive away without me on it, you know. That, that moment, it almost brought tears to my eyes, you know, making that decision. It, it, it really hurt, but I feel like that sacrifice right there will, 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 will bring something good, you know, something, something way better than what I was saying. Right on. Once again, uh, Devin Stewart, tight end out of uh, Virginia University of Lynchburg here on the CS Podcast, uh, presented by Draft Diamonds. Be sure to check out the website, www.nfldraftdiamonds.com. And, uh, Devin, in the bio that you sent me, uh, you mentioned that it's been a shaky and inconsistent journey for you. Uh, but how exactly would you describe your overall college football career, beginning at North Carolina A&T and now finishing up at Virginia University of Lynchburg? Of my overall college football career, a model, I, I would say is uh, the true definition of a diamond in the rough. Coming, coming out of rough situations, you know, high adversity, but, but still managing to find a, find a way to, to make it out and, and shine your light, you know, letting your light shine. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, 
Devin, as I said earlier, and of course before the interview when we spoke to us for a little bit, uh, VUL, they, they have a couple of guys in the NFL. My guy Keith Lewis, defensive back for the Jets. Uh, LeKendrick Ross, defensive tackle for the Redskins. Uh, of course, Antonio Brown, John Robertson, Deron Hall, they're, they're all entering this year's draft as well. Does it inspire you to see guys like Lewis and Ross who come from VUL already, uh, that they're already on NFL rosters? Does that motivate you even more? Oh, oh yes. Oh, that, that's oh, that's that's fuel to the fire. You know, that's that's like we're brothers of the same struggle. We come from the same spot. We you know we seen each other share the same struggle. You know, I felt his pain. He felt my pain. You know, so seeing them in the league and in a position where I want to get, I was like, man, we were just in the same spot last year. You know, right in the same predicament. So you know, that's just that, that strengthens my faith. You know, mm-hmm. saying things like that. Well, and, you know, I kind of pride myself in, uh, you know, kind of specializing in small school prospects. And I, I told you, I'm not even going to lie to the listeners, I didn't know too much about you until about a week or two ago. And I turned on your highlight film, I turned on your tape, and I got to say I was really blown away with what I've seen. Uh, what do you feel is your biggest strength as a tight end? Oh, my biggest strength as a tight end is my speed and my quickness. You know, pretty much uh, as a tight end position, I'm going against many linebackers and safety. You know, and, and in the linebacker position, I'm pretty much uh, quicker and faster than most of the linebackers I'm going against. And when I get to the safety position and the game position, uh, I, I am of, of a good size, so I'm pretty much everything like mm-hmm. quick, physical to the DBs, or more bigger than the, than the DBs. It is. So I can start flying. My strength is like my quickness to get past the uh, how, how I can make mismatches on the field. Yeah, absolutely. Now, uh, you know, here, here's a question that I like to ask every prospect that I have on uh, here on the CS podcast, and, and that is: uh, is there is there a tight end or, or maybe even a wide receiver with the speed that you have? Is, is there anybody currently playing in the NFL that you might compare your game to? Um. Yes. Uh, I, I really look up to uh, Brandon Davis. Hmm. You know that, that that type of guy that you can flex out, you know, and stand them up. You know, and you can use them all types of ways in the offense. You know, you can put them in the backfield at H back, throw them motion them across the line. You know, Vernon Davis, I would say my game is somewhat similar to Vernon Davis and Anquan Bowden. All right. I, I like it, man. I like it. I mean, you got the toughness and strength with Anquan Bolden and, of course, the, the speed and uh, well, receiving skills with both of the guys. I mean, two of the top guys in the NFL, no doubt about that. Um, once again, Chris Shanfeld talking with 2015 NFL draft prospect, tight end of Virginia University of Lynchburg. Devin Stewart here on the CS Podcast presented to you by NFL Draft Diamonds, www.nfldraftdiamonds.com. And, uh, Devin, just a few more questions, and then I'll let you go. I really do appreciate your time. Now, you mentioned your, your speed as a strength. I know that you recently participated in the Baltimore NFL Regional Combine, and it looks like you, you put up some pretty impressive numbers. I know that you said that it was probably your worst 40-yard dash that you ever ran, but you still clocked a 4-6-4-40, which is still uh, pretty solid, especially for a tight end. A uh, 4-5-3 shuttle, a 40-and-a-half-inch vertical, 10-8 broad jump. Uh, how do you feel about your Regional Combine performance? I mean, overall, are you satisfied with the numbers that you put up? Um, I'm, I'm satisfied, you know, I've been, I've been one of my best 40, but when you look at the, the rest of my numbers, that, that shows, you know, like the explosiveness, you know, it, it shows up things, and, mm-hmm. and really, based on game film, you know, the, 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 the times and the numbers, they tell one thing, but when you watch a game, the guys on the football field, you know, it's, it's like, it's a totally different guy. Devin, now let's say there's an NFL general manager listening to this very interview. If I were to give you a moment to sell yourself, why should he want you a part of his team? Why should there be another Virginia University of Lynchburg dragon in the NFL? Um, I believe I will bring I will be a great asset to, to an organization that, that is based on porn. I'm all about youth and giving back to the community as well as being a, being a leader. You know, the leadership I bring to a team. You know, I, I push myself, you know, so I, 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 I've had time to gain a sense of self-discipline. So I tend to, 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 I know I'll go find the best guy on the team and I'll be his tag alone. You know, I'll I try to outdo him every day 
until until the point where I'm just as good or better. Mm-hmm. You know, that's that's just what type of guy I am. He would, if, if any general manager that's listening right now, I, I would tell you not to give me a shot. You will not be disappointed in my work ethic or my abilities to perform on the football field. Well, obviously, as we said earlier, you, your your journey has been shaky and inconsistent. You know, it's been a it's been a rocky road for you, Devin. Now, the NFL draft is just one day away. Uh, I can't believe it. it's it's just been flying. I, I mean, I, I cannot believe we're only one day away from the NFL draft. Of course, we're wishing you nothing but the best uh, here on the CS podcast at Draft Diamonds. But let's say your phone doesn't ring uh, during the draft or immediately after as an undrafted uh, free agent or, or whatever you might want to say. Uh, are you willing to to you know? Uh, uh, play in the CFL or the AFL? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Well, we're going to be looking into some CFL tryouts now. It's one on May 2nd, actually. It's in Bradenton, Florida. It's a one-day tryout. Uh, I have one day doing one on May 9th as well. Mm-hmm. You know, uh, so that's, that's always the option. I'm pretty much, I'm, I'm willing to do whatever it takes to make it and secure my dream. You know, playing in the NFL has been my dream for a while. Hey, you know what? That that really says a lot about you, Devin, because a lot of guys, they, they're not willing to uh, you know, play in the CFL or AFL because they feel like it, it's just a watered-down uh, football league, but uh, it, it really isn't because you see greats like a Doug Flutie. You know, now uh, he, he's you know, one of the, arguably the best quarterback to come out of the CFL, and, of course, he had a great uh, career in the NFL. You, you see Cameron Wake, a monster, uh, arguably the best defensive end in the NFL. He came from the CFL, so it, it says a lot that you're willing to uh, take any route to make that NFL dream come true. It really does say a lot now. Uh, like I said, we're one day away from the th- uh, 2015 NFL draft. It's actually going to be here in Chicago. Do you have any plans, uh, you know, from April 30th through May 2nd during the draft? Um, pretty six and prayer, you know. I'm still right here by my phone. <laughs> <laughs> Well, uh, be, oh, yeah. ma- make sure none of your, your buddies uh, try prank calling you, man, because I know that can be pretty stressful. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nah. Nah. I don't know if they'll do nothing like that. Shit. Yeah, man, that'd be pretty bogus. But, hey. I have uh, a lot of support. I have a lot of support, so I know they'll, they'll have to have my back. No, it definitely it definitely sounds like you have a, a lot of support. I I mean I got to think that you you've had to have a lot of support to to be on this journey that you're on. Uh Devin, that's all I have for you, man. I really do appreciate your time. It was a pleasure speaking with you. Uh you know, there, there's a lot of talent coming out of VUL and you're just another one of those guys, man. I'm uh, definitely uh, wishing you nothing but the best throughout this process. Do you have anything else for us before I let you go? Uh, that's all. Uh, thank you. Thank you so much for this opportunity right here. Hey, man, the pleasure was all mine. Uh, Once again, thank you, and uh, take care. Best of luck in the 2015 NFL Draft, Devin. All right, thank you. You have a good day.